Hello, and welcome back to The Good Mood with The Good Dude. It is New Year's Day and I'm ready to get started. I'm ready to get started on finishing um, one of my projects from 2020. So, a couple of videos ago, I talked about this slam, which I had started and then couldn't finish. Um, and after doing that video, I did get a bit motivated and I did some more work on it. And then I stopped again. But this month, January 2021, I'm going to get this thing finished. That is 2021 goal number one. Numero uno, finish the slam. Finish Mr. Toad. <laughs> it's always a thing where New Year's resolutions don't really last. But this one should be, you know, this one should be doable because he's pretty close, um, you know, and I've been getting some work done on his special diorama thing that he fits into, um, his base fits into somehow. So anyway, I've got my water fresh, got my wet palette ready to go, I've got some coffee, I didn't drink too much last night so I'm not hungover, it's time to finish this paint job. One of the changes that I made when I initially returned to Mr. Toad back in October, November of last year was to ditch most of the TMM gold that I'd been using and replace it with NMM gold. For one, I just found that the lighting didn't look right with the TMM gold and I needed the extra control that the NMM gold affords. Now I'm far from a master of NMM and this piece is really the first one that I've tried to use this technique in more than a very small place. My recipe is nothing fancy, I don't even know if it's particularly good, uh, but as I mentioned in my October video back a few months ago, I'm using a paint set from Green Stuff World and you know it's good enough for the job. Eventually I got Toad's chair and jewellery to a point where I thought it was near enough to what I wanted and I moved on to the next step. I really had no idea what I was going to do with the base. I knew that I wanted a tiled floor and that it was going to be dark, but this part took me much longer than I would have liked and I made some mistakes along the way. At first I was just blobbing different thin glazes of black and dark blue around. Uh, this looked fine, but I decided that I wanted a kind of a subtle checkerboard pattern. For the lighter tiles, I mixed my blue green, it's a Stegadon scale green, with deck tan from Vallejo. Now that's because I'd used that paint for the highlights on my pot plants, which are going to be sitting in the background in the mansion. And um, I thought that if I could use some of that paint here, then it would sort of tie the whole thing together when it came time to putting the diorama together. Now my big mistake was really around the varnish that I used. I started with Ard Coat because I thought I wanted a gloss finish, but this looked foul and even worse when you brush it on at this scale, you can just see all the texture. Um, so maybe I'm doing something wrong, it would have been better through an airbrush, but whatever, um, it looked bad. And then I decided I wanted to try a satin finish, so I used Storm Shield, but this also looked gross. So eventually I settled for the old reliable um, AK Interactive Ultra Matte Varnish, and I was pretty happy with the result in the end. Um, the final step of finishing the base was to glue Mr. Toad's marble platform down in an orientation that would work once again when the whole diorama came together. I applied any last highlights to Mr. Toad, painted his eyes and held my breath as I glued him to his base. Now let me just note here that he is a weighty metal blob attached to only one small point. That's risky as hell, I know, but that's just how I'm rolling. As you can see from these photos, there's this ugly seam and glue line where Mr. Toad is connected to his base. So to fix that, I sculpted a second anklet in green stuff and painted that up with more of the NMM gold. I was pretty happy with the way the skink looked already, so all I had to do was glue him down behind Mr. Toad, being careful to place him in the right position. Now I could have come back and given him extra highlights and all that sort of stuff, but near enough is good enough. Part of me thought long and hard about whether I actually wanted to stop here or whether I wanted to carry on with the rest of my idea, which was to have the pair smoking a hooker. I was worried about this because it was going to be more NMM gold, which I'm not super confident with. 
and because the hooker was going to be right at the front, so if it looked like trash, it was going to be hard to miss. Uh, after a while of sitting around and not doing anything and worrying about this, I decided to carry on. But as I say, these worries did slow my progress and my fear of failure was returning. Mr. Toad is nearly done. All that I need to do now is finish his little, um, their little hookah pipe. So I haven't gotten this done as quickly as I wanted to. The real deadline is basically the end of the month because that's where I'm going to put it into like a local painting competition. Um, but I did want to get it done in the first few days of the year because I picked up this. <laughs> and I want to get this done as well, which is obviously a big thing to do. Um, I'll be doing a separate video about that. Anyway, let's see how I go with uh, finishing up the paint job on the hooker. The hooker was really hard to paint because of the relatively complex geometry for an MMM noob like me. I just tried to use a lot of reference photos, but in the end, uh, I just decided to settle for near enough being good enough. Now, after stalling on the project for a couple of weeks, I just bit the bullet and did my best. I glued down the hooker and started to roll out the pipes from Green Stuff. I used a Green Stuff World Roller to add the grooves into the pipes and very carefully placed them on the diorama and glued them to the character's hands. Let me tell you, green stuffing big pieces like this and getting glue involved is seriously nerve wracking when the rest of the piece is at this level of completion. I really did not want to fuck things up right now. And thankfully I didn't. After the green stuff had cured, I painted the pipes black with a few gray highlights here and there. I also took the time to spend a few more hours playing with the NMM gold. Now that I could see how the object was working in the space, I tried to fix any highlights or shadows that didn't make any sense, like brightening up the whole top of the hooker, which would be receiving light from pretty much everywhere. Again, I didn't get to perfection, but I was happy with where I got to. In the end, I wasn't entirely happy with how the NMM on the hooker turned out. It's not quite as orangey as the NMM on uh, the chair or the toad, but hey, near enough is good enough. Uh, I finished most of the sculpting work for this piece back in April of 2020, so it's, it's now done. And having something that's not perfect but is still cool and is actually done is way better than having something perfect that is just an idea or a plan. If I want to, I can come back later and apply new knowledge and skills to fix the parts of the models that I don't like. But you know what? I think that when I come back to this in a few months, I'll think, hey, that's cool, and I'll be content with that. <laughs>